Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I am going to be touring the Jack Rabbit. It is a Scott built home. It is 28 by 60. It's out here at Custom Homes of Cordell, and it is a lovely home. I can't wait to show it to you. So let me turn you around, let you see what the outside looks like. Now this is the outside of the home. It's a manufactured home really lovely nice price can't wait for you to see what the home looks like you can make it your own um this is uh a scott built home really nice quality home i think you're going to enjoy it you guys i'm enjoying being out here touring these homes today it's been a minute since i've come out to tour so this has been really really fun i hope you're enjoying this series that I am bringing to you. I know I've taken a break, but hey, I am back now. When you come in, it has the two-tone uh, siding. So you've got a pretty olive green and white with the brown shutters, which is really lovely. This home has the darker wood. Uh, in the flooring and the features so if you, that is something that interests you if not you could consider ordering the home instead of purchasing the lot model and getting the colors that you want so we just came in from there got a large window in your living room love the color block the colors are great together really nice goes well with the outside of the home and you've got this entertainment area and you can put a really nice size you can put a 75 85 inch 80, 75 or 80 inch tv up there really nice love that you have like the mantle type shelving here so it's not just decor you got one two three ledges that you could do something with very nice very nice again i love the color blocking and I love that large window. Got a ceiling fan in here, super lovely. Now this one has vents in the floor, but hey, if that doesn't deter you, then there's nothing wrong with that. We have vents in our floor. You've got an island that can sit two bar stools here. You've got a large uh, sink over there, microwave over the stove. You've got the ceramic top uh, stove over there really lovely just wanted you to take it in take notice that you've got a pantry here and it's a deep pantry so you can put shelves in here you can store appliances in here you can even bring the shelving around if you like it's enough space for that if you need more shelving space in here i could totally see shelving down this side as well so it's always nice to have a pantry if you're not into the barn uh, door farmhouse type look certainly order it and get the regular door uh, that you would like very nice you've got the side-by-side -side refrigerator in here which is always nice and you've got extra storage shelving up there super cool your washer and dryer go here next to the back door and then you've got an outlet over here turn around very good, girl. You've got an outlet over here if you want to put a deep freezer or even uh, a, an additional appliance. Now, that looks like a deep freezer plug over there. So, that's for a deep freezer. Very good. Very nice. That's your uh, AC unit. Don't worry about it. Th this is going, that cover is always on it. And if you have a mobile home, you'll have you'll know that there's a filter here in the bottom and then there'll be one in the front here as well that you'll change periodically. So very good. So this is your laundry room. You've got like a white faux ship lap in there as well as on the walls in the kitchen, okay? But then you've got finished drywall in the dining room and the living room area. This is your dining room over here. It does have a uh, antique looking chandelier really nice 
If that's not your cup of tea, you can always change it. So that's the dining room kitchen. And of course it looks out into the living room. So all one space, really lovely. Now, when you come through the front door facing the kitchen, your additional bedrooms are to your left. So let's go down this hall first. Straight ahead, you've got additional bedroom number one. So this is your first bedroom. Nice use of space in here. It's not finished, but you do have the two-tone color with the white trim, and then you have a standard closet, okay? So that's your first bedroom. Again, this is not finished. The trim will come all the way around. Next to this bedroom, you've got your guest bath. So this is your guest bath. It has the same wallpaper as the wallpaper trim in the kitchen. You've got one sink in here and adequate space for whoever uses this bath bathroom. So really nice. And then right here, you have this little hallway we just came from, but right here is guest bedroom number, the additional bedroom number two, which is a larger bedroom. Really lovely. Really lovely, really nice. Large bedroom and then the closet is right here. So you have a standard closet in here as well. So really nice. So these are your two additional bedrooms. And then across here, next to the pantry is the master. So this is your master bedroom. Two large windows in here, really nice space, really lovely. You have your master closet inside the bedroom. I would bring the shelving around so I'd have additional storage space. And you could even absolutely bring the shelving around, have one for your longer items. And then over here, you can have a lower for other short items make a good use of space. But it's a nice little space in here, show you the floor so you can see actually how big it is. Really lovely. And then on this corner, you have the master bath. So you have two sinks and a makeup area when you first walk in. Each area has its own mirror. Across from the sinks, you have this huge, huge, I'm gonna walk over here so you can see just how large this shower is. You got this huge shower with a rain shower shower head. I mean a large shower. Really nice. This door opens and all of this shower. Really lovely. All right, cattle corner here is a soaker tub. This frosted glass window actually opens and then you have another window over the toilet that actually opens so that's nice and then you have additional space here if you need shelving or whatever you need a hamper or whatever you need right there so really lovely really nice features of the home i love all of the ventilation in this bathroom so it doesn't get stuffy Really nice. So that's the master bath. Let's go look at the price. What did I say the name? This is the Jackrabbit. Okay, this is the Jackrabbit. The pricing, you guys, includes delivery and setup within 50 miles. Mileage, there'll be an overage charge for anything over the 50. Additional trim out. Steps that lead up to the exterior doors. White vinyl skirting the heating and air unit, and all appliances that are in the house are included in the price. This lot model is 118,000 plus tax. Very good. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tour. This is the Mobile Home Diva. I don't work for this dealership, you guys. I tour these homes because I love touring these homes. If you have any questions, pricing, specification, what have you, all the information I have, will be in the description box, okay? Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva.